Hello class, in this video I'm going to do exercise 7.1. This is a video on doing truth tables with the arrows. If you're perfectly comfortable doing truth tables with arrows, you don't even need to watch this video, but since you have to do a couple of these in your problem set, I will just do one for you here. What we're supposed to do for this exercise uh, is first do a truth table for these two sentences. So these have to be two independent sentences on a joint truth table, and then we have to decide whether or not they are tautologically equivalent. I put them into a truth table for you already. So we have A, arrow, B, and we have not A or B. Uh, the book says you can even uh, let Boole build the reference columns for you and fill them out. Uh, why does it say that? It's so easy to do it yourself. But nonetheless, you can take that shortcut if you want. So what do we do uh, for the truth table for an arrow? Well, this is true uh, when both of the inputs are true. It's just when A, which we call the antecedent, is true, and B, the consequent, is false, that if they then B, then B does not hold. So this is, row two is the one place in which it's false, otherwise it's true. So there's the truth table for arrow, which you will become quite familiar with. The truth table for um, not A or B. First, I need to fill out my not A part, I guess. So this is going to be false, false, true, true. Now we just disjoin this with B. B is true there. They're both false here. True, true. Hey, look, these are the exact same truth table. Um, so in my assessment, don't forget to fill out the assessment. I will say these are tautologically equivalent. Uh, and then we can just check our work if we want. Uh, make sure to send this to Grade Grinder 2 to double check yourself that you typed in the sentences correctly. Notice then that arrow could be expressed with a Boolean connectives. Negation and or are perfectly sufficient for expressing this truth function. Arrow is not necessary. It doesn't allow us to express anything else which we couldn't express already with the Boolean connectives. It's just extremely helpful um, both informally and for doing proofs. Um, so this exercise is now done. I could just save this and send it along. Thanks.